Gentlemen, I'd like to give you a brief hypothetical scenario in order to illustrate for you a, a much bigger concept in order that you might be able to wrap your wits around the bigger picture of why what we're about to talk about is going to be so powerful for many of you to earn some money from home who've never been able to do that before. Now, I've been doing this stuff for a long time. I've been in the home business space for 23 years. I've been doing it online since 2008. I've done very well. I haven't had to work for anyone else in a very long time. And I spend most of my time when I'm working teaching people how to do this online business stuff. And folks, we're about to enter a period in time where this whole process is going to shift. Where the average person, without having to go through really any learning curve at all, is going to be able to get results. And this is something new. This is something that hasn't happened before. And many of you try to relate these concepts to something you already know, and you have a failure on understanding because what I'm about to cover hasn't existed before. But we have to start with little bits of information because it's too much to share all at once. So this example I want to take you through, I want you to think about uh, whether you use uh, Gmail or Yahoo or MSN Hotmail or Proton Mail, wh whatever email service that you use. Uh, some of you use an email service that's like on Comcast because you have a Comcast account, and that's that's not free. But actually, I think you can leave Comcast and keep your email address. I'm not sure about that. Uh, the point is that most of you are familiar with the concept that you can go to a certain company and get a free bit of service for something. So Gmail. What's Gmail? Gmail is Google's mail division or mail department and what they do is they give you a free email address and they let you send and receive email. It's not the uh, most well formatted easy to navigate mailbox in the world and frankly it hasn't changed much in the last uh, 15 years but uh, it's free and there's enough capacity to hold your mail and it connects to your desktop or to your phone so that you can scroll through your mail and read it and respond. And what does Gmail do? What does Google do with that? Well, they use you for ad exposure, right? They show you ads. And every time you see an ad, somebody paid for that ad. And they're able to monetize that, okay? Now, what you don't see is you don't see Google sending you a check for all the ads that they displayed in your email box. Now, and multiply this across hundreds of millions or billions of people and think about how many ad displays are happening. Think about how Gmail uses your Gmail account to send you emails about other things. Like there's other products, right? There's YouTube. There's Google Drive. There are all kinds of Google products and maybe some of them you don't even know about, but the fact of the matter is Google has a direct line to communicate with you. Now I want you to think about if you've ever been in network marketing or affiliate marketing before, the kind of troubles you run into when it comes to building your business. The fact that you have to convince and persuade and sell, overcome objections and explain, you know, present, contact, qualify, invite people. There's these steps that you have to do. And you have to learn how to do them and you have to be effective with them in order to get a result. And most of the time, um, there isn't really any sort of no-brainer, um, free giveaway type of thing that you can just give to people that they can continue to use for free forever. And, uh, you know, you have to give them a reason to buy. Right? In other words, you have to be a salesperson. And what I found over the years is that most people are not good salespeople, including myself, but that doesn't have to stop you from getting results online. Now I want you to think about this guy. This, this is a prospect perhaps of yours, maybe a friend, maybe a cousin, maybe a family member. And I want you to think about how hard it would be to try to take that person from complete unknowingness up to a point of interest about like a super nutritional juice kind of product that you may be pushing. And think about how hard that is. 
you got to get them willing to communicate. You got to qualify them. You got to invite them. You got to get them through the presentation. Then you have to communicate with them at length because the fact of the matter is, most of these products they're really hard to sell. And we could do a whole two hours talking about you know network marketing products and and why they're so hard to sell. But what it really boils down to is, uh, it's not something they're buying already. It's something that you have to create a desire for. Now let's compare that with something like giving them a free email address to use. If I can give them a free email address to use, and that email uh, interface is sexier and easier to use and more secure and uh, gives them all the functionality that they want with their email, and it's totally free, you know, a lot of people would go ahead and use it just because it's your product. Costs them nothing but a few seconds to create an account. They could even go in there and fetch all their mail from their Gmail or their Yahoo. You'll find a lot of people aren't super happy with Google or Yahoo or MSN. Uh, some people are not happy with them because these companies have their own political leanings that they don't agree with. Some people aren't happy with them because of the way things are formatted or because of the difficulty of navigation or because they keep dumping emails that they want to see into their spam. But for whatever reason, the difference between you trying to convince people to buy your Super Juice product as compared to just having them use an awesome email service which costs them nothing. So now we're in a whole new level of ease because anybody could do that a little kid can do that you know little kids go out and they're trying to raise money you know they're selling girl scout cookies well people buy the cookies just to help them out in other words we're giving them value for free there just isn't really a whole lot of barrier to them getting involved i guess somebody might tell you f off i got my own email address um it's possible but Really, even if it's just half the people, that is a closing ratio that is uh, 200 times higher <laughs> than what the average network marketing closing ratio is. In other words, you could do that. You could tell someone, look, my company, you know, we have email services way better than what you're using. Why don't you come on over and create a free email? Here, I'll fill in the form for you on the phone. What do you want your email address to be? Okay, so now they're using the email address. Now what happens here, because we have a done-for-you profit-sharing system, is within a day or two days or a week or whatever period of time, as they're using this email address, they get an email one day and it says, Hey Joe, you know you have some pending earnings here with our company. And your earnings are, I just put X's here, whatever the amount is. And you can continue using our service for no cost, and that's fine. Or you can click here to create your account for however many dollars per month, and you can collect your pending earnings. Right now they're pending. If you want to claim them, you need to have a live account. Now I want you to imagine that the pending earnings are more than what the monthly cost is going to be for them to have an account. Now when they have an account, they're going to get, you know, 50, 60, 70 other products that they can use. But let's not get into that right now. I just want you to follow the sales process here. You can keep using the, the product for free as long as you want. No problem. But you got this money sitting in here. It's yours. If you create your account. So click here, create your account, and you can go in here and withdraw your earnings if you choose. And let's say they say at this point, well, I don't know if I'm ready to do that. They don't really understand. Maybe they send you a text. What is this email about? Blah, blah, blah. A week goes by. Two weeks goes by. They get another email that says, you have pending earnings, and now the amount of the pending earnings is five times more than the previous time, or ten times more than the previous time. 
or 20 times more than the previous time. You see, because of our AI profit sharing algorithms, they are being allocated portions of the company profit into their pending wallet. They're not an active member. They can't collect it. They got to be an active member to collect it. But the value of their pending earnings is so much greater than the cost that they would have to pay to get the product at this point. They would have to be a complete moron not to go ahead and create their account and activate their account. In other words, uh, hand me $20 and I'll hand you back 100 I may not be 20 and 100, and maybe hand me 100 and I'll hand you back 101. And maybe hand me 100 and I'll hand you back 1,000. And maybe hand me 85 and I'll hand you back 100, 110. The dollar amounts aren't really that relevant. Keeping in mind that this guy, he may be happy with $10 earnings because he says, holy cow. All I have to do is use the service and I earn. So the first email on day one says you've earned $10. And the second email on day two says you now have $18 pending earning. And the third email on day three it says, well, you're up to $34 now. Maybe the membership is $100 a month or $150 a month or whatever the membership is. But he's seeing his earnings go up. What I'm trying to get across to you is this guy maybe doesn't need to have his entire membership covered. All he needs is to see that he's earning just by using the service. It may even say something in here like, after you activate your account, simply share it with three people and your account's totally free. Do you know three other people who might like to have a, an amazing email address for free? You begin to get the simplicity of how this works. Forget about persuading and convincing. Forget about closing. Forget about selling. Just let them use the free service. That's one example. If you can begin to wrap your wits around that concept... Now you begin to start getting an entrance into why is everybody so excited about on passive? Now, what I've found personally is that human beings, including myself, are not really capable of conceiving of uh, concepts that are so big, you know, so far outside of their own reality. In other words, you got a, a small, uh, a narrow, a strip of reality within which you live. Uh, and when we try to give you concepts that are too far outside of that, it's just not real to you. It may not even be that you disagree with anything that's being said, but it's just not quite real to you. Well, the way that you handle that with people, like from a sales standpoint, from a marketing standpoint, or from anything, you could be just trying to build a bowling league. But the way that you handle that is you have to go in at a gradient. So, we got to understand just one little thing first. And once that makes sense, right, if we can understand one thing within your reality, like using email, like, I know how to use email. Okay, good. Um, let me give you the best email client in the world for nothing. And God forbid if you just did it just because we're friends and it's my business, you know, use us for your free email instead of Gmail. Right? Instead of letting Google make money from displaying you ads, you know, use our email and we'll, we'll charge you nothing. This is real to people. People are willing to experience that. People aren't necessarily willing to experience a three-hour in-home presentation where you bludgeon them with overcoming objections for, you know, three hours for the presentation and two hours after and you won't leave the house until they sign up and they sign up to get rid of you and then they quit three days later. Just let them use it. Now, let's go from here and let's take another gradient step upward. Now let's, let's look at the concept of what if it's not just email? 
What if it's lots of other things too? Like for example, what if there were a webinar? A webinar maybe even that had nothing to do with uh, I mean, it could be a webinar about anything. It could be a webinar about gardening or cooking or, um, you know, how to um, calm a kid down when he's having a tantrum or how to do simple accounting for a business or, you know, it could be about how to make money online, how to make money from home. Uh, it could be just educational. But that webinar, you invited him to that webinar through your unique invitation link for the webinar service that we have as part of our business. And when they attended the webinar, they entered their name and their email address, and they watched the webinar. So they watched a webinar about how to weave baskets underwater, and they said, oh, that's interesting. I'm going to try to weave baskets underwater now. And not too long later, they get an email. I said, thank you for attending the webinar. Uh, we hope you enjoyed our amazing webinar service, and we hope it was easy to use. Uh, and you have to understand that this webinar uh, functionality is way sexier and way easier to use and way better quality than they're ever going to experience somewhere like Zoom or some other uh, webinar host. And then it says, we just wanted to let you know you have pending earnings of X amount of dollars. Already with our company. And you can continue using our email service or you can continue to attend webinars uh, when they happen uh, for no cost. But if you'd like to collect your earnings, all you have to do is just be a user, an active paid user. And maybe they say, mm, that's interesting because this amount is less than what the monthly cost is. But the next week they get another email and it says, hey, you know that webinar you attended, that's part of our product suite. We have an amazing product suite of over 50 products, and that's one of them. And we just wanted to let you know that because of our AI never-before-done profit-sharing algorithms, you now have X amount of dollars in your pending wallet. You see, folks, because the way that this works, uh, the way that the algorithms work with the profit-sharing, these people can earn even if they never do anything because they don't have to recruit people. They will be allocated a certain uh, piece of the profit based on whatever relevant ag algorithms apply. And the system will tell them. So now the dollar amount that's sitting in their pending wallet that they haven't claimed yet is more than what the cost would be for them to start using as a customer. Now this things start to get interesting. Now you can reach out to them. So it's been a week, and you reach out to them. You say, "Hey, did you get an email telling you how much is uh, you've earned? You know how much pending earnings you have?" And they go, "Yeah, it says I have whatever the amount is." I mean, all this is just hypothetical examples. I'm not telling you or anyone else you're going to earn any particular dollar amount. Um, I'm just giving you mathematical examples so you can understand the concept. The examples I'm giving you may be exceptional, not typical. I really have no idea. We'll find out more when we get to that time. But just track the concept. The guy says, yeah, I was confused by the email. It says I have pending earnings, but I don't know how I would have pending earnings because I haven't done anything. That's exactly how our business works. You don't have to do anything. You just can be a user and you can get paid just for being a user so you mean all I did was attend a webinar yeah when you attended the webinar it created your account your guest account and then it started doing the calculations of what you would be earning if you were a paid member and the guy will have a certain period of time where he can claim that create his account and right off the bat he's already got earnings sitting in his wallet or he can ignore it and someone else will get those earnings so it's real simple Joe do you want to create an account and claim your earnings that 
will completely cover your cost for you, and then as time goes on, you'll earn more and more and more? Or do you want to ignore it and let me keep your earnings? You see, you, you got to be some sort of demented freak to want to just throw money away. So when you get emails from me or other people about this, and we say, look, this is going to be the biggest internet, the biggest shift. Somebody was saying uh, on the uh, live session yesterday, internet quake. I liked that term. This is going to completely shift how people are doing business online. I mean, honestly, knowing what I know about what the products are going to be, I don't know why anybody, like for me, I'm going to save so much. I'm just going to consolidate all my services into one place. It's a complete and total no-brainer for me. But let's think about, you know, your grandmother. Your grandmother doesn't know anything about, I mean, maybe she does, but depending on how old you are, you know, she knows how to use email. She can do that. All right, we'll let her use email. Here, Graham, I'm going to set you up the free email address. It's going to rock. I'll even set it up to fetch your other email from your other box until everybody gets accustomed to your new email. And then what do you know? Grandma actually has earnings for doing what? For doing nothing but using the service. Now, in order to claim those earnings, she will have to create a paid account. But she doesn't have to do that unless she recognizes that she's going to earn more than what the account costs her. And it may not be a situation where she already has more in her pending earnings than the account costs her, but it may be a scenario where because she's getting updates for it, it becomes real clear that, you know, by next week or the week after, next month, she's going to be earning more than it costs her for the account, and it's going to give her all these other wonderful services she can use which we won't go into right now because it gets into too much information. This stuff is very intelligent. If you can begin to wrap your wits around this concept, you can start to understand why people are so excited about on passive. It's not just like, oh, you're going to earn from spillover. That's antiquated. That's an antiquated concept. And, you know, sometimes you do in an MLM company, you uh, you can earn from spillover in some of these deals, but it's usually just a few bucks here and there. I mean, it's nothing that's making anybody wealthy. This is a completely new way of allocating profit sharing. And it's a way where people can do it without any risk. And they can see the results for themselves before they even come out of pocket to do it. I believe that even the very last founder to become involved is going to become very wealthy. Now, that's just my opinion based on my own observations. Again, I can't tell you how much you're going to earn or if you'll earn anything. What I do know is if you take this concept that I covered here with you today and you multiply it across dozens and dozens of different services and you realize that These people don't need, there just isn't any need for these big presentations and all this uh, complexity and closing and persuading and convincing and, oh, please join to help me out and all this nonsense that, you know, the average uh, person who's starting a home business has to get into. You can give them something of real value that no one else is going to, there isn't going to be anyone else who's going to give them the amount of value that they're going to get as a customer here. And even if they're not a customer, the value that they're going to get is going to be tremendous. They can come in as a guest. And you'll have people who, if they're still willing to communicate with you, who've been in deals with you, they've been in five deals with you, and they never made any money, and they swore to themselves, and they promised their wife they would never, ever do another deal like that again, and they're just going to work a job for the rest of their life. Forget about trying to convince them, persuade them. Give them a new email address. Invite them to a webinar about whatever. See, you get the difference? It doesn't matter what the webinar is about. They don't have to buy anything to participate. Just by registering for the webinar, they are now plugged into the system. 
and understand that part of this service is traffic. So these accounts grow. You see, it'd be different if we were offering some overpriced thing that was super hard to sell and you couldn't sell it without spending five hours with someone and beating them up about it. But our products are going to be things that people are actually already using. And they're either going to be able to use them for free forever, use them for free as a guest until they decide they, they, they want to be a permanent member, or they're going to be things that they're already spending considerably more money for a worse service elsewhere. And I'm telling you guys, it's only going to be a matter of time before you're going to know, half the people you know are going to be using services from this company. Whether they want to be, whether they thought it was because they were starting a home business or not. That's the big difference. And they're going to get access to use all the stuff and the, the price that they're going to have to pay for it is going to be a tiny fraction of what they were otherwise paying or would have to pay. People like me, I'm going to save so much money. Even if I never made a dime off this, I'm going to save so much money. Just between all the page builders and the membership sites and the plugins and the SSLs and the email and the SMS and all this stuff. I mean, it's all in different places. Now it's all going to be under one roof. It's going to be easy even for those people who decided they do want to actively build a business with it. The example I gave you here is of someone who doesn't even isn't even aware that there's a business there to build. Well, if the people who aren't even aware that there's a business there to build are going to be able to earn by doing nothing, what in the name of goodness gracious is going to happen for people like you who actually are intent on making something happen? Now, for those of you who are watching this before the, the official launch, in other words, if there's founder positions still available, you need to go right now and get yourself a founder position. If somebody introduced you to this at some point, go back to them and get a founder position immediately. Folks, there isn't any risk on these founder positions. If you finally get in there and start going through these webinar, see, the founders have had a private webinar almost every single week for like over two years. And those of us who've been attending all of them, who've gotten to know you know, the leadership council and the CEO, like we know what's about to happen. And then there will be other people who the best thing they can come up with is to post critical comments on YouTube videos. You know, it's always the guy with the default avatar and you go to his channel, he has no videos, or he has one video, or he has three videos, and it's all about how different things are scams. You know, I don't even know if they're real accounts. These people are clueless. They don't even know what they're talking about. Do yourself a favor. Get yourself a founder position. If you're watching this after the founder positions are gone, well, I'm sorry. I wish someone would have got to you sooner. But that doesn't change the opportunity and the way this is going to work. Folks, this is eventually going to get to hundreds of millions or billions of users. I mean, you have to start thinking at a much bigger level. This isn't like this isn't an MLM company where you're selling vitamins and you got to beat people up and it just takes forever. This is, you know, people are going to have amazing free resources that they can use and they're going to have a better user experience. And it's going to solve a lot of the problems that people have. You got to get inside that member area and start going through the recordings of those founder webinars because um, that's that's where the data is. Those founders webinars were private, and that was one of the advantages of becoming a founder is we had access to be on these calls so we could watch the development of this thing. And I've watched this thing go from nothing but a concept, like nothing existed. All there was was a page that had a video on it, and it was a concept, and that's it. And I've watched it go from that to, you know, uh, the company buying its own five-story building and hiring hundreds of staff and meeting the staff and watching the uh, foundership grow to, well, we're pushing 700,000 at the moment, um, watch the leadership council grow, watch uh, product demos, watch products being developed. I mean, the amount of work that's been done is 
so far beyond most people's reality that they can't even conceive of it. And a lot of people will just choose to criticize and even try to understand it. And it makes them look foolish. It really does. One of the best things you could do for yourself right now is to lock in a founder position. It's zero risk. Zero risk. And I've been telling people lately, if you don't lock in a founder position, you're going to be very mad at yourself later. But you're not going to be mad at me. And they say, well, why, why aren't you going to be mad at me? And I say, because I've, I've done my best to try to communicate to you that you should have at least one founder position in this company. Because they just don't, you know, people have been beat up. And they've had rough times and they've bought into other deals and they found out they couldn't do it. And, you know, they had to learn the process and it took too much time and they got, they had a job and they have kids and a spouse to deal with. And they got all these, these demands of their life and they just were never able to immerse themselves in there enough to really get the process down and then get into action to make things happen with it. It was just a little bit too far outside their reality. And now that, that that's not going to exist with us. Because they're going to be able to win even if they do nothing. And the, one of the things that I've learned over the many years of doing this is that people don't have to get wealthy to make, for it to make a big difference in their lives. I mean, the average person, they make an extra two, 300 bucks a month that makes such a big difference in their life. It's incredible. Because they're spending right up to the limit of what they make. And they make the same amount every two weeks. And they know exactly what it is. And they're jostling bills and they're worrying. And you get an extra couple hundred bucks a month coming in. All of a sudden, all the bills are paid on time, and they got a little bit extra le left over. And now they can just sleep better, and they get along better. I mean, it changes people's lives. I've observed that uh, in a lot of these home business programs, people don't even have to be making a profit. If they're making anything, they'll stay forever. You know, they'll spend fifty bucks a month to make twelve, because. They see some things work, like they got some kind of result there. And then one month they made $51. Oh my God, I made a profit. And then somebody quit, and then the next month they made 40 right? If they just come in and they stay, eventually, even if they do nothing, that profit-sharing algorithm will allocate enough business to them as the company grows that their cost of membership will be covered and they will be in profit. Now, again, refer to the earnings disclosure. I can't tell you how much you're going to make. I can't tell you how long it would take. All I can tell you is what the intention is of what's being built. And I can tell you if you come in as a founder and you start working your way through those founders' uh, webinar recordings, I would say start with the October 15th, 2021. And then I would probably go from there. I would bump up to the May 25th of 2021. And then once I've watched those two, I would just start I don't know, go back to maybe January of 2021 and start watching my way forward. There's a point you'll hit and things will click because it's enough data. It, it's so big that just watching one of them is not going to be enough for you to get it. But, you know, you'll be listening while you're driving to work, right? You're listening while you're sitting on the toilet or whatever, you know, washing dishes or whatever you're doing where you're not occupied. And all of a sudden, at one moment, you'll be like, OMG, I get it. What this is, this is so holy crap. And you won't be able to sleep. And you realize that every single person that you know needs to know about this. And you realize there's no way for anyone to get hurt. There is no way for anyone to get hurt. There's no risk on these founder positions. And the value of these founder positions, it's like you know having a big rock of gold before somebody discovered that gold was valuable. You want one of these founder positions. I don't care what business you're in. I don't care how well you're doing. I don't care how poorly you're doing. I don't care if you make $10 million a year. You need to have a founder position. Even if you just let it sit there. Release date comes, activate your account, buy your product, just let it run. You don't have to do anything with it. You don't have to spend any minutes. You don't have to build another company. You don't have to leave your other company. You don't have to make a declaration that you're doing something else. You don't have to change anything. Just be a user. 
and watch what happens. And when you reach the point where you realize, oh, obviously this is going to go. You know, what's funny to me is like the people still, I don't, I'm not sure. I want to see proof still. Well, there's over 600,000 members or I mean, how, what, what more needs to happen before somebody realizes, oh, this is going to go. Organizations don't, don't build up 600,000 members pre-launch. If what they have is not needed and wanted. But you're still afraid. I get it. Well, there's no risk. There's no risk on these founder positions. You, you have literally nothing to lose. And the freedom of all the time of your life to gain. You, literally what you have to gain is time freedom for the rest of your life and your kids for the rest of their lives and their grandki- your grandkids for the rest of their lives and so forth. The gain to loss risk ratio is it's like 100% and 0%. Your chances of winning are 100% and your chances of losing are 0%. So while many of you are so busy looking for ways why things can't work, I have to point out to you there is no risk. You're, there's nothing you can lose. Get yourself a founder position. Part of the problem we have here is certain things I can't cover with you. And by the way, these examples I gave you, these are just hypothetical examples. So as I give you these examples, I'm not trying to uh, convey to you what are the features of OnPassive or what are the products of OnPassive. I'm just giving you a hypothetical example of this concept where someone can come as, as a guest, they can use it, and then the intelligent system will communicate with them to let them know, if you were an active member, here's how much you would have earned by now. I mean, how many of these does someone have to see? Well, they see one a day and it keeps going up by three, four, five, ten dollars every time they see it. I mean, eventually it just gets stupid. Well, how long are they going to wait on it? How long are you going to wait before you contact them and you go, you know, I... I got to point out to you, you really should activate your account because you can go in there right now and you've got this much sitting in your wallet if you activate your account. Well, what if that never happens? Well, I, I guess if that never happens, then um, you know something went horribly wrong. There was some kind of natural disaster, nuclear uh, war, um, you know, some act of God killed not only the CEO but everybody else who's had it to take over all the duties and all the management staff and the admin staff and everything everybody died and um, I mean it's like the chances that of something go- there's nothing we're not doing anything that's in an area of risk we're not like we don't we're not a health company so there's no health F- FDA risk right we're not into financial advising investments there's no FTC risk or SEC risk. We've got about as much risk as a company like AWeber or Gmail. So if you're going to worry about risk, you know, why not worry about using it with Gmail? So because I've been doing this a long time, because I've worked with tens of thousands of people, I mean, I've literally done one-on-one coaching with thousands of people. I did that with thousands of people before we ever started using the internet. So I have a really good understanding of how people tend to operate. And what I know is that people who are having a hard time, they're not generally operating to win. They're operating to not lose. And it's a natural tendency because you don't have a lot to lose. You want to hold on to it. And people who have a, have a lot, people who are wealthy, they don't think that way because they're not worried about losing a little bit. So I just want to point out to you that part of the reason why some of you are having such a hard time is because that's how you're operating. You're so afraid to lose just even a dollar that you won't do anything to try to expand yourself. And it just doesn't work. So with this, I mean... They've been over about as far backwards as they could possibly bend over to make it completely risk-free for you. So if you're with me in other deals, you should have a founder position with OnPassive. 
Sometimes people say, well, you've, first you told me this deal was good, and I said that deal was good, and I said that deal. Guys, I promote a lot of different things. I earned money today on at least four different offers. I don't consider my business to be the offer. I consider my business to be me and my communication lines. The offers are just the products. Like when you go in a grocery store, they don't have just carrots, right? They got dog food and TP and carrots and bananas and, you know, soda and beer and beef. And and they got all kinds of different stuff in there. On Passable, put it all under one roof. And it will make it easy for you to promote if you want to promote. It will allow you to create earnings even if you do nothing with zero risk. So my advice to you would be stop worrying about the possibility of what you can lose and start looking at what's about to happen. And I'm telling you this for your own benefit. Do I want to build my organization? Sure, I have a, a fairly large organization already. Believe me. If you personally right now never do anything with on passive, I'm going to be totally fine. Like I've been totally fine for the last 23 years. It's probably not going to make much difference at all in my life, but it's going to make a huge, huge difference in your life. And I'm telling you this for your benefit. I don't care what else you're doing. I don't care if you're a dentist, if you're a garbage man, if you're waiting tables. If you've got five different network marketing businesses, you should have, at the very minimum, a founder position with OnPassive, even if you don't do anything with it until launch day, you activate your products, and then do nothing. That's the minimum that you should do with it. And I'm telling you, if you don't at least do that, you're going to be mad at yourself. But you won't be mad at me.